hello everyone you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to decent stitch if you're a new subscriber or returning subscriber you're welcome hi guys for this tutorial i'm going to be using my bustier pattern you can use a princess line pattern or a bustier pattern to achieve the six pieces or eight pieces blouse look I already have a video on how to cut your princess line pattern or how to do a bustier pattern like this. So I'll be using this bustier pattern. I'm going to have to cut the fabric so that this video can be as precise as possible. I don't want it too long. This is the center front and this is the side piece for the front. I'm going to have to put my seam allowances. I have my zip allowance at the front because there's a zip at the front so this is my center front and i have my zip allowance and i have other allowances already and m allowance so what i did was at this side i measured three or four inches at the m here then i came down one inch below the under bust and i connected it to the three or four inches you can use three inches but if you are very big you might want to use four inches or if you want it to be the flare to be very big so i came down by one inch at the under bust you can come down by two inches then you connect it to what you extended at the end so for the side piece i have my seam allowances round and my side seam allowance so what i did was here i measured three or four inches and on this side too, I measured three or four inches and I came down by one inch at the under bust and connected it. I did the same. I came down one inch here and connected it. So extending this helps to form that flare effect around the waist. Then if you want more pieces, you can go ahead and have another cut here. So you have more pieces and you have to Put this extension by each side so i have two pieces of this and because it's a bustier cut i've gone ahead to put my wording and then i put my interfacing a fusible interfacing also known as stay so this is soft stay i've gone ahead to put it all over the fabric so i've put it on this too and the center front, I'm gonna have to put my stay and my wording all over. So you don't have to put your stay or possible interfacing all over the fabric. You can just put your wording if it's a bustier cut. Or you make it anyhow you want to make your blouse, you can go ahead and make it. The only difference is this extension that has been added. Also, I've gone ahead to shorten the length of the fabric because I'm going to be attaching the black organza. So I've shortened the length of the fabric. Also, when you do the extension, you have to curve this part where you extended. If not, the end of the blouse won't look round. It won't look nice. So you have to go up by 0 0.5 inch and then curve it back here. This also. After extending it, you measure 0 0.5 at the edge here and curve it gently back to the midpoint here. You measure 0 0.5 here too and curve it gently back here. So for the center back, it's going to be on fold, meaning there is no joining at the center. So the same thing I did for the center front, I have my seam allowances round. Then I measured three or four inches here and I came down by one inch and connected it. Then I came up by 0 0.5 inches and trimmed off 
0.5 inches at the edge and curved it back to this length so i only curved the part where i extended while the remaining part of the fabric is still the normal length i only curved it where i extended it then for the side piece of the back i did the same thing i have my seam allowances and then I came out three or four inches here and three or four inches here and curved here and curved here so this paper is this pattern paper is longer because i've reduced the length of my fabric that is why my pattern paper is longer than the fabric so because i'm attaching the black organza i've shortened the length of my fabric i used 1.5 you can use two inches if you want the organza longer i want it to be short so I'm using, I shortened my length by 1.5 inches. I've gone ahead to cut my lining the same length. The same way you, the same way you make your blouse, that is the same way you are going to do this. Like I said, the only difference is the ex extension that we are adding at the sides. So, to start my joining, I'm going to sew all the lining pieces together to form one um, blouse and I'm going to join all the fabric pieces together to form the blouse. So to join this back, I'm going to open it this way. Then I'll take this right side of this, I'll place it here and sew 0 0.5 inch and attach this here while this i'll place it on the edge here i'll align it and sew 0 0.5 inch all the way up so this becomes one for the back then i'll do the same for the front so for the front i'm going to Open the center one. This is where I have my zip allowance. This is where the zip is going to be. So I'm going to take one of these right sides facing each other. I'm going to place it this way. I place this, I will align it, and so is 0 0.5 inch. I'll sew 0 0.5 inch here. So that this will be joined together then i'll do the same here i'll put this here and so is 0 0.5 inch all the way so this will be attached to this so after joining this then i can join my shoulder so i'll join the shoulder of the front to the shoulder of the back to make it one blouse like a complete blouse so I'll do the same for the lining and sew it complete to form the blouse before I'll join the two together. I'm done joining all my pieces. This is what the front looks like. This is the back. This is the flare effect. I've done the same for the lining. This is the front. And this is the back. I'm going to join the lining and the fabric together. So right sides facing each other. I'm using the lining to tidy the side, the M and the center front. So I'm leaving the neckline 
and the arm O. I won't be stitching the neckline and the arm O. So I'll do the same for the back also. I'll use the lining to tidy the edge at the side. I'm going to be using 0 0.5 inch to do that. Then 0 0.5 inch to tidy the M. So I'll be leaving the arm hole and the neckline like I said before. I'm done sewing my lining and my fabric together. So this is the side, this is the back. I've sewn my M, I've sewn the side. So this is the front. I've sewn the center front, the M and the side. This is the second side for the front. So this is the way I've joined my lining and my fabric. So now I'm going to turn it inside out. I'll go ahead and sew the side. We like to do this type of seam in Nigeria because some clients like to adjust their clothes. So that is why I'm doing it this way. But feel free to sew it the way you want to sew yours. So by the time I join this side, it will be easy for the owner of this cloth to adjust it anytime she wants to adjust it so that's the reason i'm using this method so the next thing is to give it a good press and then I can fix my zip in front. I can fix my zip in front and then sew the sides. So after I've given it a good press, then I'm going to put my organza underneath and then stitch on it. That is the way it was done in the picture. So that is the way I'm going to make this also. I could have put it in between my lining and my fabric but I'm going to just place it underneath and then stitch on the fabric so I'm going to fix the band for the neckline that band I cut I'm going to fix it in between my fabric and my lining for the neckline I've cut my organza 